Now, where do we leave off with Omniscient Reader? We, um... Oh, um, our boy is back. Bi Hyung is back. After Doksha, um, wandered his, his way into the Constellation Ball, um, he was overwhelmed. Completely overwhelmed by everything that was going on. And Bi Hyung's like, what are you doing? And picks him up and just takes him away. And he's like, you're not supposed to be by yourself. What's going on? X, Y, and Z. And then that's where it ends. We get to see our boy. Basically, like, the very cliff notes of it. Like, they got attacked. He jumped off. Wandered around. Song, song, um, song, like, the cliff notes of it. So, let's just hop in. It's hot down here, man. Today was a heater. <laughs> Today was a heater. It was hot. We could, It's going to be, like, minimum of, like, 93 degrees this week. Today was, like, 95. Tomorrow it's going to be, like, 95. It's, good. it's ridiculous. So, um, so, yeah. Let's get started. Let's just hop into this. 167. Whew, I can finally breathe. Why did you come on your own? Looks up. Me here? Yes, it's me. The queen said she'd send her envoy out to pick you up. Weren't you coming here with him? Constellation being with part three. What are you doing out here all alone? Are you looking to get yourself killed? Well, things happen. This is more serious than you think. This isn't a scenario area. Ooh, that's something I never thought about either. We're not in a scenario area. And scenarios are just like kind of like predetermined, preset. Learn that from you guys. So for him to be somewhere else, I didn't even think about that. Okay. One wrong move and that'll be the end of you. Here. I know that this place is full of beings who can just kill, who can kill humans with just their gaze. Looks off. Bi Hyung looks at him. Hmm. I'll take you to the waiting room, so why don't you rest there? There's a video feed in the waiting room, so keep your eyes glued to it. The waiting room. Don't take your eyes off it, okay? So we're not supposed to take our eyes from a video feed. Okay. Don't take your eyes off the video feed. He said it twice for emphasis. Do do not take your eyes off the video feed. Or else. That's pretty much it. I like our boy's got an upgrade. I like it. Incarnation waiting room. Incarnation waiting room. Is he gonna be in here by himself or is there is there gonna be other people here? I didn't know there was a room like this here. Oh. Did you think you were the only incarnation here? Although you're the only one who came alone. Okay, my bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> What's up? After twin. That's a cool name. <laughs> I appreciate it. Who's in here? Who is it? Who is it? Oh, snap. Jung Yak's here. Jung Yak's here. We don't know Jung Yak's supporting constellation, right? So that means Jung Yak's supporting constellation is here. We don't know a supporting constellation, right? I'm just a, hold on, time out. We don't know it, right? <laughs> I thought we didn't know it, but now I'm second guessing myself. I thought we didn't. I we don't know it. Yes, we don't know it. We don't know it. Okay, we don't know it. Okay. I was like, all right, so that means his supporting constellation is here. So maybe we do know who his supporting constellation is, but we don't. It's like maybe we've already interacted or we've seen it. But we don't know yet until we get there. Okay. Is he Dokja? <laughs> He's like, ah, ah, ah. Jung Yuck. Constellation Banquet is mentioned quite a lot in TWSA. This is where Jung Yak comes to cheat the constellations by using regression. Of course, it was natural he was on the guest list. This is where he comes to cheat the constellations by using regress regression? Huh. 
where he comes to cheat the constellations by using regression. That's an interesting way to put it. Like, if it's put like that, then I don't so, like that tells me that every, when he regresses, everything goes with him. No. Oh, interesting. No, because it's like, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. Let's keep reading. Interesting. I just who knows? <laughs> I don't know who it is that invited him here, but constellations would line up to be able to associate themselves with him. All right. This is being run together by several countries. The Seoul Dome, the Washington Dome. How North, like how American, oh, never mind. The Moscow Dome and the New Delhi. Delhi? Yeah, the New Del Delhi. Del high, sorry, don't. I guess a pre there. It, these two are so stereotypical. Never mind. Um, I guess a presentation is being given by all the domes who made a lot of progress as of late. <laughs> it's so stereotypical, but never mind. It feels like Jung Yak. Whoa! It feels like Jung Yak in his twenty fourth regression. What are you doing here? The same reason as you probably. When are you coming back to life? Probably tomorrow. <laughs> the others are worried about you. He's pissed. He's like he's pissed. Um I'm really sorry about that. I was reading the chat for a second. Delhi. Oh, okay. I never know how to say that. Delhi. Or Desperado in this case, yeah. Relax, Jung Yuk. I'm really sorry about that. The promotion of the mid level Dokubi as the representative of the low level Dokubi. Once again, I would like to honor the constellations who have listened to my story. My boy. That punk. So, this is why he asked me to watch this. <laughs> okay. That's funny. <laughs> I thought it was going to be something important, but it was just his, his speech. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like some, some strict or else speech, but nope. He's just up there giving his acceptance, his acceptance speech. All right. Half of my achievements were possible thanks to an incarnation who has been rather active in my channel. I'm sure most of you already know him. I would like to dedicate half of the honor to that incarnation. Gosh, he's embarrassing me. <laughs> and the other half. <laughs> will be dedicated to this child who will be born soon. Okay, B Hyung, that's really cool. <laughs> you weren't even here, you phony. <laughs> That's really cool, V Young. Half of it goes to Dokshin, half of it goes to maybe you sung? I don't know. We don't know what's gonna happen when this when this little egg is being born. Oh, he recognized it. Wait, did you? It was the only way. Do you even know what you've done? If you do that, you sung will be. If she's reincarnated as a Dokubi, at least she won't die a ridiculous death. My ear is very itchy. <coughs> oh gosh. Oh no. <coughs> the management center is the safest place until the star stream goes under. What? <coughs> what the hell are we talking about? Until the star stream goes under. <laughs> that feels mad sinister. What? I feel like I got water in my ear. I can't get it out. Uh, that's what I get for rushing, taking a shower. <laughs> the management center is the safest place until the star stream goes under. Did you just threw that in there? Wait, are you don't you Kim? Oh, he got interrupted? I thought that was... 
I was thinking was that was Jung Yak saying that. Who is this? Who's that? <laughs> Do you know me? Oh, only a little. I've heard about you. I didn't expect her to come talk to me first. It's nice to meet you, Selena Kim. Do you know me? Don't you represent America? I've also heard about you. Character profile activated. Only the pre-selected information will, dis will be displayed for user convenience. Okay. Selena Kim, supporting constellation, Ender of Wars. Personal attribute, animal lover, rare, King's Guardian, heroic. That's it. Selena Kim of the Washington Dome. They said it was for ease. She's a member of Anna Crofts and one of the 100 strongest people from TWSA. One of the 100 strongest people from TWSA. The king of no killing attribute that I once had was supposed to be hers. Excuse me. Isn't Anna Croft here with you? You know Anna? I met her in a dream once. I remember that. She wanted to come. If she had known you would be here, she definitely would have. He's like, no, I'm glad she isn't here. <laughs> if she were, things would have gotten more complicated. Because of her. Tell that woman to watch out for herself. You're just as Anna said, Jung Yang. Now let me go back up. Because of her, during the last round, Jung Yang was betrayed by Anna Croft. And Anna must have seen what she did to Jung Yang through her through her past sight ability. So when we say last round, that's a second regression, right? That so that's what I was during last round, that's his second regression. Anna Croft betrayed him. Anna and this in this time during during this third regression looked back, seen what she did to him, and was like, ah, bad blood. <laughs> bad blood. <laughs> okay. That's probably why she didn't come, because it'd probably be yeah, that's a good point. No, that's a good point. He he if he would have seen her, he probably would have been on go time. Looks like there's a weird looking one from the Korean dome. Are you the representative of Korea? I'm not gonna lie. Looks clean, right? Looks clean. Iris, that's rude. You shouldn't judge someone by their looks alone. I was only stating the fact that he looked weird. Honesty is a virtue in Moscow. So, I know they said that the people, like other people, in the soul dome said that Doksha's face is blurry, right? So that's why it's like, he's like the, ugly, it's like no one, like they can't, like people can't really tell what he looks like, kind of really, I don't know, it's weird. But they say his face is kind of blurry. So is this what she's like referring to when she's like, he looks weird. Like there's just, some, there's something going on up in his grill and nobody knows what. So they just call him ugly. Okay, that, that, that's, all right. Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> you don't know me? The representative of Russia. I have an idea who she is, but I don't want to let her on that I do. She was one of the characters I... <laughs> All right. This is... I don't think we've talked about this. This is one of the characters that I despised in TWSA. You don't know me? Iris Vladim Vladimirvona? R R R what the hell is going on here? Vladimir Vladimirvona? Vladimir Vladimir Whoa, Vladimir How do I pronounce this? How do I pronounce this Rebezova? What the hell? Should I know you? <laughs> Let me introduce you, Joke. Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> Iris. 
Let me introduce you, Doksha. This is Iris. She's Russia's representative. She's known as the war god of the Red Square in Russia. <laughs> Some people do call me that. Even her nickname sounds baloney. Iris, this is Doksha Kim. He's not represent right, he's he's not representing he's not representing Korea. Technically Zhang Yak will be representing Korea. Doksha is here for other reasons. This is Doksha Kim, he's here representing Korea, but I guess he's from Korea, so he would be representing representing it. And he goes by I'm sorry, but what's your, what is your nickname? He goes he was gonna say he goes by the ugly king. <laughs> I don't have one yet. How about that? Oh, ugly king. <laughs> I actually do have one, but... Ha! You came all the way here without even a nickname? I do have one. I just don't want to share it with everyone. <laughs> that is true. He's um He is the strongest, so that is correct. But he's also currently dead. Like, he's probably the only one that's dead here, but he's here. That's crazy. I don't know who gave you the right to be here, but you better watch yourself. You must have come here to beg a story from a high constellation or something. If you only knew, they begging me. Right? 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 If you only knew. Right? If you only knew. They're, they're begging me. <laughs> Excuse me. Incarnations, story succession will soon take place, so please head to the banquet hall. Let's see how you do. Come on, bro. I'm tired of these chapters ending like this. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Damn. I'm tired of it. So let me, I want to go take a look. I want to scroll back up really quick to when the um, four, when they talked about the four different ones. Soul Dome, that's two. So is it, how many people per country is here? Am I, am I, am I to guess that one, two, three, four, all these people in brown are from the the is it the North American dome or the United States dome which one is it and I'm supposed to assume everyone in color here is a representative all the people in color here are a representative <clears throat> I'm just wondering how many people from each city is here so it was like until Doksha showed up, Jung Yak was the only the U.S. dome. OK, Jung Yak was the only representative of Korea here because nobody it looked like nobody else was here representing representing besides him. <clears throat> um, Every capital city, U.S. dome, Washington is in D.C. So country, just a few places. Only Dokcha and Jung Yak. Okay, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Just asking questions. I'm just asking, asking my question. I like this chapter, but this is like this feels like the segue lead up chapter to the cool stuff. I need more. <clears throat> it would make sense that Korea has less representatives because it's a smaller country. That's true. How do I pronounce that place again? D D Del D D Lee. How I pronounce that place again? De Delhi? De Daily. Daily. I think right like that, right? <clears throat> That's what, it's like it's I'm I'm wondering. Like I'm like how like I I don't even know what that place is. Oh, like a deli. Oh, okay. <laughs> deli. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, Delhi. Um, interesting. But then I'm like, as I sit here, 
Um, and we know about all of the, we know about all of the people that are in the Soul Dome. I'm saying they're like, like who would be coming? Because our whole pot, like our whole party, ba basically our whole party was the top ten strongest people in in the Soul Dome. Besides Nirvana, everybody else was in our party or associates. So it's just like it, maybe if Nirvana was still alive, Nirvana would have been here as well. But because Nirvana's not here, it's just Jung Yak. As Jung Yak was now technically two, and technically Jung Yak is one, because Doksha is technically dead by this like flesh standards. He's dead. But when he comes back, he's probably gonna, he's gonna be one. Jung Yak's gonna be two. Is gonna fall in line arm and Soo Young Soo Young will be three. <coughs> Soo Young would yeah, I think it would have been cool if she would have been here too. It would have been spicy if she was here. She probably is here. She probably isn't showing herself. I don't know. I'm trying to keep my tongue in my mouth though. What's her name? That's Selena chick. She's hot. <laughs> she's, she's something else. It's like damn. <coughs> it's like damn. Okay um nice to meet you too all right see i'm not someone who's down bad really but a few of these situations i'd be hung up <clears throat> i can't deal with all three but i that's what i want though i i we haven't gotten the three of them together i want that I want that i want it we really haven't got the three of them together for an extended period of time without other people that we know interfering or interjecting. That's what I want. Oh, man. <laughs> it's too much of a wild card. She is too much of a wild card. Or it could be based on connections, like maybe only certain incarnations could be invited due to their constellations. That is true. But it seemed like a ton of constellations were there, though. And then it's like, we know the constellations of some of the people were here. Surely, like, they'd be here, right? Like, if, like, if, um, like, if Sangha would have qualified surely she would have been here because surely people from olympus are they're here so she would have come right but she probably didn't qualify mm -mm -mm -mm. it's a good chapter though it's it's just a, it's really like a set of, it's like it feels like a setup chapter it feels like a, all right here we go and all these people are here and bow we introduced to a bunch of new people and now we're about to get into some stuff So you sung <clears throat> depends if they need introducing. That's true. You sung is going to be reincarnated into a doki. Okay. All right. Right. So she's got all she's got all of Olympus. Who else does she need? Right. So it's like she would have been here. They would probably to the point of getting themselves axed. <laughs> oh boy i don't know if i got anything else there were there really wasn't anything that super duper stood out besides getting introduced to like new people that's like all right iris and selena two, two new people we got introduced to and then it's like um selena's connection to anna croft there's not much that we can go from right there because everything that we know is basically already been established already with um <clears throat> I guess Olympus Nebula doesn't necessarily include everyone that's true so it's like it's like all the Selena stuff was in a croft base and all the inner croft stuff that we know up to this point has already been established I think it would have been interesting to see Jung Yak on Go Time if he would have been on Go Time in this place. Because surely Go Time would have been like, all right, he dies, but then he regresses. I don't know. <clears throat> I 
Isn't the Dogabe baby new idea? Is a new idea? And hold on. Isn't oh, or are you forgetting something? I don't think it's anything we've heard of, and I don't think we necessarily knew. I'll say for me, I don't think I necessarily knew that Yu Sung would be reincarnated as a Dokabe. I think whenever they both had the egg, I think I said it. I think I was like, "What's she gonna be a Dokabe? You gonna turn into a Dokabe?" I think I said that like in the first initial thoughts of it, and I was like, "I don't know." But I don't think it's until right here that it's kind of like conf soft confirmed. It's kind of hit, like it, it's just pointing you, in, in, you into the direction that she's not gonna come back in the form of Yu Sung, but she her her soul will be the same, but she will be something different. And I think that's an idea that you can then introduce to the reader because we just got finished with all the Nirvana stuff and the whole re the reincarnation thing and taking different forms and going through that whole process with Nirvana, seeing like having Nirvana explain everything. And then we get to you sung and it's just like the whole you sung thing. Okay. She's going to reincarnate same soul. Yada, yada, yada. Bow. And that's what we do. So it's a, it's a cool idea. I like how that's been structured. It's just like we did something with you sung. Don't worry about it yet. That's basically what it is. Don't worry about it yet, but we did something with it. Let's go do this arc. Let's go pick up. Um, let's go pick up some more information in this arc, and then we're gonna come back. And once we come back, we'll just hint you, and then you'll you'll be able to um you'll be able to figure out what's going on from that point. And then after that, we'll tell you what's going on. So it works. It definitely works. I'm not questioning these people <laughs> at all. <laughs> they are they, they're writing a masterful story. So they, I feel like they they got all their I's dotted and their T's crossed. So it's like, maybe it's like, I don't know. Maybe she gets reincarnated the same exact way. Maybe it's blank state. I, it will, it would be happy and sad if it was a blank slate. Just if we could have some interaction with her, it'd be nice if it's just like, yeah, you sung yada, yada, yada. Or if it's just going to be. And it's just going to be, oh, she's back, but she's just a little bit different. I think that'd be cool, too. And then it's just like, sorry, B. Young, you sung as our Dokubi now. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. We jump ships. We we leave we leave, leave B. Young's channel, go to her channel, run the numbers up. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how long it's going to take for her to hatch, how long it takes for uh, Dokubi to be qualified to start streaming and all that. I don't know with all the all the the basis of that is um i think that's it right uh, there really wasn't too much in this chapter just a couple introductions name drop here name drop there and then that's it we don't need you anymore old man <laughs> that's my boy though started off not liking him right he's a he's a complete jerk when you first meet him it's the same thing. I I feel the same thing with um, Bi Hyung that I felt with Dokja. It's like first introduced to Dokja, and I was like, ah, I don't really care about this dude. And now it's just like I love Dokja. Same thing with Bi Hyung. It's like he's totally a jerk. Now it's just like my boy, look at him. He's clean. <laughs> he's clean. They let the interim run the scenarios for like two arcs. Yu Sung can handle it. That is true. And nothing really bad happened. Nothing terrible happened on the in, on his on his um on his watch so he'll be fine right he'll be fine you sung will be fine <laughs> you sung will be perfectly fine oh man we got this timer right that i'll i will mention this we got this timer there's no way they keep showing us this timer if it's not going to come down to the wire right Otherwise, why keep it's I or I guess it's just to keep it here so we know that it's here. Um, but it's just like something's gonna happen where we're not gonna be able to get back. I don't know. Some something wonky is gonna happen. Participate in the banquet and make a successful debut. I still don't know what that means. 
I don't know what that means. What are we supposed to do? Are we supposed to, is, it, is this going to be like a, uh, an incarnation talent show? Is that what that, is that what this is going to be? All the, all the constellations are sitting out in the crowd and each incarnation has to go up on the stage and shuck and jive. <laughs> they got a shuck and jive to get something. Is that what we're going to have to do? I don't know. Is this going to be Squid Games-esque where we're knocking off incarnations? Like, what, what are we doing? I did get what I wanted, though. I want more time with these two. And, and Sears is giving it to me. <laughs> Shuck <laughs> Shucking and jiving is crazy. Uh, <laughs> oh man, I don't know why my I just in my brain I just see see Doksha just walking out there like it's freaking showtime at the Apollo and just doing something stupid. <laughs> I don't know. I got that mental image in my head. Like I could just see it. Uh, I don't even remember what I was going to say. <laughs> I don't know where it came from either. I have no idea where it came from. Shucking and jiving. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I think I got. Sh where did I get shucking and jiving from? I think I got it from my mom. <laughs> I definitely got it from my mom. Yeah, shucking and jiving is nothing my dad would say. I don't even I can't even picture my mom saying it, but I had to I had to have gotten it either from from the from my mom or someone on my mom's side. Cause I don't spend no time on my dad. <laughs> I see it in my brain. I see just <laughs> I see <laughs> just <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I can see him doing it. He's dumb. I can see it. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, I just I I wish it could happen, and I wish there was just one black incarnation from from the U.S. Dome. Just what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I, I I need it. <laughs> I need it. Uh. Oh, I need it. <laughs> I can't wait. <like>, fuck. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, I need it. I need that in my life. I'm I'm with you. I need that. That would be it would be so offensive, but it would be freaking hilarious at the same time. Oh god, I I can't I can't get it out of my head now. I need to see that. I I I need to see it. <laughs> I need to see that now. That's fucking funny, man. Oh, man. I need to see it. It's like in the same vein of like. But what series is that? What am I thinking of? Am I thinking of SpongeBob whenever Squidward was trying to do the most and nobody would cheer for him? And SpongeBob was just mopping and everyone was going crazy. I just need I just need it in the vein of that where it's just dead silence as he's just up there going. <laughs> uh, I can't think about it anymore. I can't think about it anymore. That that made my whole day. I had a I had a long day. 
I mean, my whole day. I could see him doing it in the little character, character, character. I don't, I do however, however you pronounce that word. And that little style just up there. <laughs> Damn, man, that would be great. That would be incredible. That's going to end it. All right, I'm calling it here. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. This will be the end of the stream as well. Appreciate you guys for hanging out. This is a great introductory chapter to what seems like something crazy about to go down. Um, have a good one. Have a good rest of your week. Have a good weekend coming up. Have a good next week. And hopefully, God willing, I see you guys right back here next Tuesday for 168 of Omniscient Reader's Viewpoint. I don't know what I was about to say. It definitely wasn't Omniscient Reader's Viewpoint. So have a good one again. And I appreciate you. Peace out.